of you. Good. Over my head on these five monitors, you'll see some of the artifacts in this room, as well as some other artifacts, the countries they come from, and the year they were issued to Coca-Cola. I'm just going to be your ambassador for this room and the next. I'm going to give you a quick history of Coca-Cola, point out all the exhibits you'll be seeing, and show you some different artifacts in this room. How y'all doing this afternoon? Great. That's what I like to hear. Thank you, ma'am. Thirsty? Yeah. I said thirsty! Yeah. After today, you will never be thirsty again. <laughs> My name is Emilio. I'm originally from Charleston, South Carolina. Ha <laughs> ha! Find out where y'all are visiting from. Where are you from, family over here? Minnesota, up here. South Korea, up here. North Carolina, ladies. <coughs> Japan. Mexico. Taiwan, Georgia, New York, Virginia Beach, Georgia, Louisiana, had good times in Louisiana, don't remember any of them. Hong Kong, Kentucky Bluegrass, Bosnia, Texas, don't mess with it. New York, Illinois, New York. Texas, Brazil, Argentina, and Chile, a Democratic mix. <laughs> New Jersey, New Jersey, Canada, Canada, oh, Canada as well. Oh, Canada, Ireland, Ireland. Boston, Boston, Minnesota, Brazil. Welcome, everyone. We're from all across the United States and all around the world. But what we have in common is our love of Coca-Cola. That was pitiful. <laughs> y'all really need some Coca-Cola, is what y'all need. We'll take care of that. Now, Coca-Cola was invented here in Atlanta by Dr. John Pemberton. He was a pharmacist in Jacobs Pharmacy, which was located within a mile of the world of Coca-Cola. He served his first Coca-Cola on Marietta Street on May 8th of 1886. 1886. This is our 127th anniversary. Oh, hi. Now, the oldest thing you'll see in here at the World of Coca-Cola lot, besides myself, is this Coca-Cola syrup dispenser from 1896. And back in the older days, before Coke was served in a can or in a bottle, this is how you'd receive the Coca-Cola if you went to a drugstore. The top of the bowl would be filled with Coca-Cola syrup. they put a glass below it. you receive an ounce of syrup and five ounces of carbonated water. They'd stir it up, and that's how you'd receive it. It sold back then for five cents a glass. And it stayed that same price for 70 years until 1956, when it went up to the unheard of sum of six cents a glass. <laughs> Highway robbery, Martha. Please turn your attention to the back wall, all the way up to the top. That Coca-Cola company sign in Spencerian script was in our first corporate building here in Atlanta in 1919. Stayed there for 60 years until 1979. Below that, play refreshed, where you see the four football players, is one of the first times Coca-Cola used African-American athletes in an ad back in 1953. The red oval that says, even though it says Bouvez Gassé in French, is one of our signs from Canada, of our friends visiting from Canada. <laughs> the long white banner celebrates Coca-Cola from Colombia, South America. The couple at the beach and the three people at the party are posters from Germany. The soccer player to the right of them from Vietnam. As you look around this entire room, there are 19 different languages from over 20 countries, all celebrating classic Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola now produces over 500 different beverages. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're just gonna be in this room around five more minutes. And then we'll be heading into the Happiness Factory Theater. You're gonna be seeing the premiere of our new film called The Polar Bears. You'll be seeing the polar bear family and their habitat, as well as they celebrate not only the holidays, but each other. That film lasts six minutes long. After that, I'll be taking you into the hub, the center of the world of Coca-Cola. The rest of your tour will be self-guided. you just be on your own for the rest of the afternoon. On the first level, you have three exhibits, plus the Coca-Cola polar bear. Arr. Seven feet tall, giving out bear hugs. You can get your picture done with him. We have a photographer here, but you're allowed to use your own camera or video camera if you brought one. And then our newest exhibit, the vault. You will see the actual vault, which holds the secret formula for Coca-Cola. It also has some interactive games for you to play as you make your way through the exhibit. 
Behind that is Milestone, showing you the history and development of Coca-Cola. Bottle Works, our in-house bottling plant, and each one of you will receive a bottle from that plant as a souvenir when you exit on the second floor! <laughs> we really need to get out of the house. <laughs> On the second floor, you have 4D theater. You're going to go around the world with Coca-Cola. You wear 3D glasses and sit in chairs and move. There's a laser, a water, and a wind effect. That film lasts 12 minutes, no extra charge, and there's a clock outside the theater telling you every time they load in. Next to that, pop culture. Coke in art. We have a special Norman Rockwell exhibit. Norman Rockwell did six original portraits of people enjoying Coca-Cola. Pardon me. Perfect Pauses is a theater in which you will watch international as well as nostalgic Coke commercials. And of course, towards your exit on the second floor, our world famous Tasted Room, where today you will try over 60 different Coca Cola products from around the world to your heart's content. Hey, hey, hey. You receive your bottle of Coca-Cola there as a souvenir, and then you'll be heading into our gift retail department, and that is your exit point. So keep in mind that the exit will be on the second level after the taste check. <coughs> Pardon me. Now these beautiful cardboard cutouts you see on either side of me date back from the 1920s, 30s, and 40s. They're called festoons, and they were used in drugstores as signage to draw your attention to where Coke would be sold. From the 1950s and 1960s, these are Coca-Cola piggy banks. You put a coin in, receive a real sip of Coca-Cola. From 1972, Coca-Cola hip huggers, yeah, baby. For $2.98 in proof of purchase, you could have gotten these in the mail. If you want to recreate this look, we actually offer these as men's and women's pajamas in our retail store. Unfortunately, not for $2.98. <laughs> this gold retro can represents the 2008 Summer Olympics in Beijing, China. Coca-Cola has been a proud sponsor of the Olympics since 1928. When you go into Milestones, our history exhibit on the first level, we have two walls dedicated to the Olympics. An entire ceiling to floor wall of Olympic pins, as well as Olympic torches. You'll see the 1996 Atlanta Olympic torch, the Beijing torch, as well as the current 2012 London Olympic torch. Now, in a short time, these lights will be blinking on either side. We'll be heading into the Happiness Factory Theater. When they blink the second time, it means the doors will be automatically opening. Do stand clear for that. Again, my name is Emilio. If you have any questions, please come down. Take some more pictures if you'd like. And thanks for joining us here at the World of Coca-Cola!